Semco painting and decorating YouTube channel. Today we are on a new project. This is the one of the windows that we're gonna do on this project. It's in a very bad shape. As you can see, the paint is coming off it so easily. It's being water damaged as well. So you can see there. So we're gonna sand it first and then scrape off all the loose paint wherever it is coming off as you can see the outside window it's never been painted there as well on the bottom here it's never been painted well, the damage is so bad that you can see it on the locks there it's like all rusty and need to be removed this one as well this side too on the inside it's never been painted and because of that of what I got in and uh, I don't know if you can see it but this timber is in out of the level so the outside window doesn't close all the way down this one does but the outside one doesn't come all the way down because it's banded there same on this side See there, it's bended and it's stuck. That's the how far the window can come down. But we're gonna paint this sort of seal this timber so the moisture doesn't get in there. As always, we're gonna start with sanding. Uh, I'm gonna use a palm sander. The same paper grid is 80. This is the same paper that we're gonna use. Before we do anything, we're gonna remove all these small parts like handles stuff like that all these plastics that have been there all the screws that one there this one here basically all these need to be removed all that that from the blinds and then we're gonna then we're gonna save the surface with the palm sander and take off all the loose paint with the scraper I'm gonna use this angle scraper to scrape all these loose paint like that. So then we're gonna sand all this patch it and um, make it look nice. Remove this lock here, sand this, sand all that loose paint that's coming off as you can see here. It's all paint that's coming off. So I have to remove this paint. This is the part of the lock that I've just removed. As you can see, it's all rusty and it's gone. The rust eating it away. Because the timber underneath, underneath this paint is rotten. So I have probably sand about two millimeters of rotten timber to get to uh, healthy timber so we can apply coats of paint on that. It's all nicely sanded. We remove the lock. Uh, it's a nice and healthy timber that we can put on the corner on and put the new coats of paint. It looks already much better. And the product that I'm gonna use for this sort of job is precision. This is the water-based undercoat, but it's really very good undercoat and very strong. You can even use it on a glass. Uh, tiles and very smooth services. Now you can see the difference between undercoat and before. This is the difference. Now I can see where I need to put the normal gap. All along there, all the patches where the holes are. It's all visible, easy. I'm about to do no more gapping. I'm using a Sika uh, acrylic thermal gap. No, not normal gapping. This is a normal gapping. All on windows, all done. As you can see, all the cracks are normal gapped. Looks already really good. 
we're going to go with the patching now. Here we are, all the prep is done. Now we're gonna do two top coats on this and uh, see how it's gonna come out after afterwards. Tune up later to see how it's gonna come up. So Hey guys, I'm gonna quickly explain technique uh, where I start and then I finish the uh, sash window. Um, when I start painting, I paint the external window first. I start from the top, finish the top, then I do the bottom and the middle. I start doing the sides here on the inside, just the halfway. Then I push the inside window up and the video outside window down the farthest can go. Then I finished this side, finish this side, the bottom and that side, and then I push this window all the way up and do the bottom underneath. <coughs> After that, I do the inside window, the top side, all the top side right side and left side then I lift it up a little bit then do the bottom top face and bottom and then I push them all the way up like this so once they finish painted they all all the way up then I do the rails of the windows on the both sides just to the bottom and after I finish that, I do the frame. So I do the, all the frame on outside from the wide surfaces to the narrow surfaces like this. And then I finish all inside. If you do this with acrylic paint, by the time the paint dries, you will have the time to pull this window down, windows down, bottom and top, and do the rail on the top side and you just leave it like that and that will be it for the sash window that's the technique that, that we are using and it's so far it's been the best way to do the sash windows hey guys so uh, i just finished this window i'm just gonna go quickly and show you what's been done as you remember from the beginning of the video all this was big mess With this timber here was rotten and only bad shape. There was a water damage here. Big cracks in between timbers. We all seal all that in normal gap. Same this window, back window. We removed all the locks, rusty, rusty locks, and all the stuff that was in the window. There was a lot of uh, leftovers of different things. <laughs> and it had to be removed same for this side as well this one is sanded all the way down about three two millimeters to get to healthy timber so all these three are being done and back window front window is being painted on this side as well actually all three of them and this is how it looks now That will be all for this time. Please uh, like our videos and subscribe, guys. Thank you very much.